I don't want it to fray. vlog series and it's also part of my fab and thrifty series where I make fab things um, on a budget but I did just want to preface that a few of the items are a little bit more on the expensive side but I will be giving alternatives that you can potentially use um, but there were just a few things that I did really really want so I ended up spending a little bit more money on them I mean yesterday I just um, went to Bunnings to pick up a few things like 3M hooks and um, 3M strips and things like that um, and then also did most of the unpacking so set up my desk um, just because I do have work tomorrow so I wanted that all ready to go. Um, I did most of my wardrobe and all of the kitchen. Um, I also put together a cabinet um, for the entryway like a little buffet for the entryway as well as a cabinet for my home office. So the buffet um, took about two hours to put together, which I was pretty happy with. I'm pretty impressed with myself. And then the IKEA cabinet for the office was probably one of the easiest, um, was probably one of the easier pieces that I put together from IKEA because it was made of metal. So it all just sort of clicked together. Um, so that only took about an hour, but I was so exhausted. So, um, and I haven't put together my bed frame yet because I'm going to reupholster that. So today's video, I'm going to be decorating my bedroom and that includes reupholstering my bed frame. So I really wanted this particular bed frame from Macmillan & Co. Um, it's really beautiful, it's got this boucle headboard. It's over a thousand dollars and I just couldn't justify spending that. So then my next thought was to make it myself. And I just thought, why not reupholster the bed frame that I have already with boucle fabric. Um, so boucle fabric, um, it's basically, you know, the real fabric is uh, usually made from wool. Um, but the fabric that you buy for upholstery um, and a lot of the furniture and things that you see nowadays is probably made from acrylic, um, otherwise it would be even more expensive, I'd say. So this is the fabric that I bought from Etsy. Um, it was quite expensive. It was $60 a meter and I had to get five meters, so it was $300 all up. But I bought it off Etsy and I waited for there to be like a 7% off with the cashback app. Um, now this isn't sponsored at all obviously but if you haven't got it already definitely download the cashback app for both your phone and for your browser and when you go onto websites like Etsy um, it'll take it'll give you back a percentage on your total purchase so I think I got like $21 back so I know that isn't much of a saving but any little saving I think um, is good in my books and I really wanted to use boucle fabric because it's really beautiful, it's really trendy at the moment, um, but it's also a very classic fabric, I think, um, and it will look really good, hopefully. Um, if you didn't want to spend so much, I would say any other um, upholstery fabric will um, also work, maybe like a heavy cotton or linen as well would probably um, cost a lot less. But I just figured I'm going to probably keep using this bed frame for another year or two, um, just because I have had it for four or five years and I've moved almost every year since then so it's really um, It's been disassembled and reassembled that many times. It's like on its last legs But I think it's still got maybe a year or two in it and I'll definitely upgrade when I move to the next place um, But in the meantime, I'll have a lovely boucle bed frame and also if I do end up throwing this bed frame out I can always rip off the boucle and then make it into other things like cushions and things like that so um, yeah let's get into it okay so I went to Bunnings yesterday and I bought this electric staple gun which you can use for upholstering um, this is my first time upholstering but I think it should be pretty straightforward fingers crossed um, and this thing cost $40 um, I probably won't use it again so I might sell it on um, like on Facebook Marketplace, but I thought it was a really good price. I had been looking for a second-hand one on Facebook Marketplace, but none um, sort of came up in my area. But I think $40 is a pretty good um, price for something like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is 
cut the fabric for the headboard. I'm going to do like the front, the sides and the back pieces one at a time just because space is kind of limited and I do want to test it um, on the headboard first. Okay, now for the fun part or the scary part, I guess. So the way that it works is it'll only go off if this part is like engaged on the actual piece of furniture and then you pull the trigger. So I want it to be nice and neat and I'm also folding the fabric in because I don't want it to fray. figuring out how to do these corner pieces, um, the book of fabric is quite thick, so I thought it would be like wrapping a present, you know, you kind of do the corners, but it might end up looking quite thick, so again, just pulling it really, really taut and making sure that it's as neat as possible just around the corner areas. really pleased with how it's come out. Um, boot clay I think as a fabric is super forgiving so it's quite fluffy um, and thick so it kind of um, it doesn't show up any of those tucks from like the the buttons which is really great and yeah I love it so much. Now to do all the rest of the pieces. Um, I guess some learnings from the first piece is to just really pull the fabric really taut and tight across the um, the panels themselves before you staple them in um, and in terms of stapling it is pretty easy with that um, electric staple gun I'm sorry if some of the footage has my hands like quite close to the staple gun I assure you I'm very careful um, but that might be anxiety inducing for some I've done the headboard and one of the side panels we're onto the second panel and then lastly will just be the end piece um, I really like this particular piece because it's actually coming across very neatly. Um, the bottom part I'm less concerned about and actually on the other one I didn't end up double folding it to have like a nice edge like that because I figured it's on the bottom anyway. It will hardly get touched so I don't think it will be an issue with fraying or anything like that. Um, and you, plus you won't see it at all. Um, so. I just think it'll be nice to have this top part um, really neat because when you lift up the gas lift so this bed's actually really great and that it has extra storage under it so if you're living in an apartment and you need some extra storage this is always a really great option um, but you basically it opens up and so you will be able to see some of this it doesn't really matter because you won't really see it when the bed is you know down and like properly assembled um, but I think if I have enough fabric, which I do, I did want to have like quite neat finishing. So on the top parts, definitely nice and folded. Um, on the bottom parts, less so. <laughs>
that took me just over two hours, including reassembling the bed, which was not fun. And definitely was not oh and um, doing that by myself, but we got it done. Um, and I'm so relieved because that was quite tiring, but I'm so happy with how it t turned out. Um, now I'm just dressing the bed. Um, these sheets are just four cotton sheets from Target. I used to be pretty fussy about like having really nice sheets and things like that, but I think as long as like the, the fitted sheet and the top sheet are 100% cotton, um, it usually feels pretty good. Then I have these European cushions. Um, they're pretty old, they're from Hello Talk. They're just like a really nice baby pink. So as I said, it kind of does cover a lot of the boot clay on the headboard. Um, so any imperfections, I guess, um, you really don't notice. Then we've got the regular pillows. Um, this pillow here is from Ecoza and I got that for Christmas. It's like a memory foam pillow and it does take a little while to get used to but once you do, I don't think I could ever go back to a, just a normal pillow. They're really comfortable. I actually got a new doona or duvet or quilt, whatever you call it, um, because I have a queen size bed, but I always got a queen size doona, and I just didn't like how it didn't like cover or come across the sides very nicely. So decided to upgrade to a king size duvet doona so that it comes off the edges and it just looks really nice oh my gosh I'm so happy with that um, so this duvet cover um, and these pillowcases are from bed threads which you may have seen like on Instagram and stuff um, really beautiful linen bed sheets they are very expensive, but what I did was waited for their Black Friday sale, I think it was, because as soon as I knew that I was moving, I just kept waiting for a sale to happen. So I think it was like 15% off. And then again, I used my um, Shop Back app to get cash back. So I got $12 back. Again, doesn't seem like very much, but um, I think every dollar counts. big duvet just makes it look really luxurious especially as my mattress is very thick it's very it's actually quite tall so I think just having a larger duvet makes it look even nicer And then these cushions, I actually found on the street <laughs> um, in someone's hard rubbish. I actually just wanted new cushions and I couldn't find ones that I wanted. And then these showed up. And I honestly believe that anything that I've like manifested and wanted for my apartment has eventually showed up on the street. So these um, bedside tables that I'll show in a bit more detail shortly, um, are in perfect condition. I mean, they're just IKEA ones, but I just found them on the street. 
Um, these cushions are from the street. Um, that lamp over there is from Facebook Marketplace. Um, yeah, there's, so there's definitely ways that you can save money. I think I've just been lucky. Like the suburb that I used to live in, people were always moving. Um, and when they moved, they would just put all their like unwanted furniture on the street for collection. And I just always have a look around and there's always some good stuff. So really happy with that. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. That turned out so well. So there we have it, my final reupholstered bed with uh, brand new linen sheets. Now linen does pick up a lot of the wrinkles, um, but they do soften over time, like the more you wash them and uh, use them, they get softer. Um, so looking forward to that, because they're quite scratchy otherwise, um, but I do love linen and I think it looks great. Um, I think I'm gonna end it off here just because it has taken me probably a bit longer than um, I expected and I'm going to have some lunch and then probably finish unpacking all the stuff in my bedroom and my wardrobe and things like that. But definitely check out my previous um, moving vlog videos and I will show you in a bit more detail the way that I decorate it. Um, I've just done some basic things like that. but. All the stuff um, that I need to decorate is still in boxes, so it's going to take me a bit of time to find and sift through this afternoon. Um, but otherwise, please join me for my next video and I will go into a bit more detail about how I decorated the rest of the apartment and how I organised the rest of the apartment. So thank you and I'll see you next time.